This could be the book that changes your life just like I think it is changing mine. So if you are someone who is scatterbrained, but you're really curious and you're always seeking new information, you've got lots of different projects on the go in addition to probably like a full-time job or something, you enjoy actively learning, you enjoy sharing resources with people. When you come across something interesting, you save articles for later and then you can never find them. This book is gonna change your life like it is changing mine. This visual is from someone on Twitter. I did not draw it, so full credit to whoever did. But essentially, this book talks about breaking down all of the information and content and knowledge that comes into your life into four different sections. The first is projects, the second is areas, the third is resources, and the fourth is archive. These sections also sit on a spectrum of what is actionable and non-actionable or less actionable. What you need to do in order to set this up in your given note system, maybe that's, you know, iPhone notes, maybe that's Notion, Evernote, whatever you use, create a folder structure that looks like this. Before you categorize any information, there is a separate process called capture. And that's kind of where you log any new information that you come across like throughout a week. And at some given frequency, maybe once a week, you will categorize all of the things that you have captured into these buckets. Projects are typically things you are actively working on and have some kind of defined end time. Areas are ongoing areas of your life. For example, like health and fitness, cooking, or maybe you're learning a new language. Whereas projects might be like renovating your house or going on a ski trip. Resources are exactly what they sound like. Useful information, knowledge, content that you might want to potentially share with other people. Resources at any time can move into areas, ongoing things that you're doing, as well as projects. And archives is what it sounds like, content, knowledge that you don't actively need anymore. I'm in the process of implementing this for myself in my own notion. Let me know if you want to see what that's looking like. You know